Here is my template gas mask. Learn how to make your own cosplay gas mask. Hi everyone, I'm Jasmine and today I've created a cosplay or costume gas mask for us to make out of EVA or craft foam. So you will need a piece of EVA foam which is easily bought from Kmart, Spotlight, Core Electronics and many other stores, eBay. EVA foam is a very moldable, easy to use foam. So you'll just need one sheet of this. You'll also need either a hot glue gun or a contact adhesive which is water-based. So there are contact adhesive adhesives that are not water-based. Don't use those. They have fumes that will be right close to your face if you wear your mask. So make sure it's water-based. And of course your hot glue gun. Make sure you're using it safely. Burns can really hurt. We also have to get a craft knife. Scissors are not the same as craft knives and if you do try to use scissors in place of a craft knife you will not get the same result. Scissors twist paper and foam when they cut. They twist naturally but craft knives cut straight every time so do use a craft knife with a non-slip placemat underneath cutting that. You also need two bottle caps, that's the chunky breathing parts of the gas mask. Have a look around, I'm sure you'll be able to find something similar to this. If you can't find anything like this, you can always use bottle caps, little metal ones. They won't look as good, but they'll still look pretty good. Also, uh, it would be helpful, but not necessary, to have a pipe cleaner. So we can mould our face mask over our nose. So. Then you just need to print off the template attached to this video. So have a look at our post, click on the template and print it onto lightweight card or paper. So you should now have something which looks like this. It doesn't have to be printed in colour. Print it in black and white if you want to. And uh, there are two, you'll notice. Don't print both, print one or the other. This is the smaller size. This is designed for children or small adults. I will be making today the larger size, which is going to fit my face. So, there's the larger size, which I've printed in black and white, and we're going to get started. Now, I made this design, so it's free to use, but uh, there are artists out there who make fantastic designs that you should check out if you enjoy today's tutorial, because they make some amazing things, and they're very cheap to buy the templates of and then print off and make all sorts of incredible things. So. Let's get started. Let's cut it out, not with scissors, but with a craft knife, right on the black lines. There. And that is my last piece cut out. Now I have a template that looks like this, and I have these pieces all cut out. Now, now I need to place them on the foam and trace around them with a fine tipped pen. There. Okay. I've finished tracing my template onto my foam and you can see I've tried to save some space here by keeping them all bunched together. I can use these pieces at the bottom for other embellishments if I want to. So um, when you're when you're making cosplay like this you can really you really have to be careful to trace every little line so take cutting out really slowly take the tracing out really slowly and be careful if you do make a mistake start again and do another piece because little mistakes become bigger and bigger as you trace around them after you've cut them out so um, try and get them as close to as what it looks like on the template as possible and then of course you can make your modifications when you're putting it together. So, now we get out our craft knife again and we cut out these pieces on the line and take it slowly so you don't cut yourself and so that you get the piece exactly right. Otherwise, you'll be wasting a piece of foam and you'll have to start again. Okay, so I've cut all my pieces out and they look like this. Nice and neat edges and I've been very slow and careful cutting these out so they're 
just cutting on the inside of the line. You'll notice when you're cutting these pieces, these little zigzag pieces, you'll need to cut in further the line, the line goes because your pen wouldn't have got right up into that little crack at the top. So just cut over that line and in a little bit further and it will create the start of our mask like this. Can you see it now? These pieces come together and it curves the mask around like that and that's what creates that mask shape. These pieces on the sides are for your elastic. If you're going to glue your elastic on you don't need to cut these bits out. So we are now going to glue our mask together. Okay. I'm using the hot glue gun to start with because most people will have a hot glue gun as opposed to the uh, contact adhesive. So just get your, your hot glue gun, be very careful, and just get it on the inside edge of what you're gluing. Just run it along. There you go. And when you've finished running it along there, of course your glue is starting to dry and cool down straight away. So push those edges together, not overlapping, but one edge facing the other edge. And then hold, being careful not to burn yourself, and do the next little edge and hold, and the next one. And oh, it's starting to cool down. If it does cool down and it's no longer sticking, you can peel that bit off and do it again. Cosplay is a lot of fun and there's nothing more enjoyable than wearing your, an outfit that you've made and it looks exactly how you want it to look um, when you go to cosplay like events or even Halloween. You can wear your cosplay even to the supermarket if you want to there's so many cool inventive things out there in cosplay land. When I first started making these things with EVA foam or craft foam, I discovered how many different types of things you can make and it's just incredible. With a bit of paint and a bit of foam and a gun, glue gun, you can make some just amazing looking things. Just let your imagination run wild. Yeah. I've pushed all these pieces together now and as you can see it's shaped nicely. It's got a few kind of corners. You can smooth those out. Craft foam is amazing at being flexible. So if you get your fingers, once it's completely cool, into the bit where it's um, not, not sharp corners, like the bit that you want to round out, just push your thumb in from behind and round it with your thumb. And craft foam is lovely, it'll thin out, it'll round out, and you'll end up with something which is a lot less cornered. It will be nice and round. You can do that all over until it's how you want it to look. Okay, I have finished rounding it out and it looks really good. I'm really happy with it. Let's have a look. Looks great, doesn't it? So now I've finished the main part of my mask, it's time for the embellishments, which is the fun bit. I've made embellishments that you can print out and use, but you can keep adding. You can do all sorts of different embellishments if you would like. So now I know some of these embellishments look a bit confusing, so I'll just go with how they work. So this shape here, you just pop here so that it kind of has this little huggy line on the inside. And then you do the opposite side on this side and they kind of meet up at the top and then it's like a little window there for that piece in the middle so they all get stuck down like that so think about where these are going to go before you stick these bits on because this is where the bottle cap is going to go so once that's on there that's on there and that's how the bottle caps go so let's get started glue them straight onto your mask. Okay, I have stuck all my pieces on and oops, I've managed to stick 
this bit too high. So these bits which hug the circles, when you put the these bits on, they're up too high. They should be down here. So I'm going to fix it because I can't take these off now because that'll rip the foam. But I kind of like it and I think it will look like an interesting embellishment anyway. So I'm going to leave it and I'm going to stick these ones down the bottom. So I'm going to stick one there and one there and I'm going to make sure it looks really great. By using those little cut out middle bits of the circles, they will fit perfectly over this bit here. So we'll be able to paint them up and they'll look great. So I'm just going to glue those on right now. same height. That's it. And now I just stick these ones on. A little bit of hot glue just on the inside of that rim. And that's what that looks like. Looks pretty good. Now I'll just do the other side. Well, my mask looks fantastic. Have a look. Doesn't look great. I'll show you a close up. Now, if you've got a pipe cleaner, like this one, bend it, put it on the inside of your mask and hot glue gun it into place. So now my hot glue gun has dried and my pipe cleaner is in there. This step isn't necessary, but if you do it, you can get a much better look once you've bent those pipe cleaners. It will encourage your mask to stick to the bridge of your nose. So the last thing we need to do is get our elastic. If you don't have elastic, you can use wool or yarn, whatever you have get a colour that's going to disappear into your hair and just tie it on or you can glue it on if you haven't made those slits in the sides. Well after uh, putting on that white elastic I had to take it off again because it was too short so now I've got black elastic and I did end up gluing it on to the sides rather than tying it on because um, it did end up tearing a little bit. So. Um, it's pretty dry now. Now I'm gonna try it on for the first time. Oh, fingers crossed. Never know what's gonna happen in Craftland. Looks good. Well, thank you for joining me today. As you can see, my mask has turned out really well. I hope yours looks great as well. Feel free to let us know what your mask looks like. We'd love to see them. In my next video, I'll be talking about how to paint it so it looks amazing. The first thing you need to know when you paint this craft foam is that you have to paint it with glue first. So um, if you have time, paint all over this mask with a fine layer of white glue. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks everyone. Bye.